What is up, planet? It is The Priest, and I'm back with another Pick a Card reading. In today's Pick a Card reading, I'm going to be focusing and looking at messages from higher self. So in this Pick a Card reading, I'm going to switch things up just a little bit. I have four different charms here. I'm also going to go to a close-up view so that you guys can pause it and see which deck is pulling towards you. Before I get started, shout out to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the planet where we embrace love, happiness, freedom, and most importantly, truth. I'm super, 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 super excited to bring this video to you guys because it's a video I've been wanting to record for the past three days, and I feel like the energy is starting to pick up, the world is starting to wake up to truth, and it's going to be a beautiful journey. And so I just wanted to bring you guys messages for exactly where you are. It doesn't matter what day it is, what time it is, it's really when you see this video is exactly what you need to hear. If you guys are looking to book a personal reading with me, you can find that down below. Yes, I am pretty much booked a month out in advance. So stay up to date with my schedule. You can do that also on Instagram at the tarot priest. I'm also on Twitter. All of my handles are down below. To all of you guys who have purchased my book, 13 Slaves of the New Era on Amazon and Kindle, I just want to thank you guys. I've been posting your mentions. I've been posting you on my Instagram page uh, just to show my gratitude for you guys supporting the message and the vision. A lot of you guys are saying that it's working, it's helping, it's bringing a lot more light and freedom to your life. And so that's the entire reason why I wrote that book. Last but not least, the Soul Journey webinar. For those of you who attended last month, it was amazing. I'll be doing a webinar every last Sunday of the month. So you can also check down below and save your seat for that. It's an interactive general reading, but it's also a, a discussion to help guide you guys. And so it's a little bit of life coaching, um, community Q&A, and also just where you are on your soul journey. Every theme is different every month, so just stay tuned with that. You can also just follow me on Instagram at the Tarot Priest again for all that information. So yeah, I have a lot going on, so stay up to date and always check in the description box below. All right, let's hop into today's reading and see exactly what messages you need to hear for where you are right now. Okay, so as you can see, I have four different charms here, okay? It's really going to be the charm that you feel is pulling towards you. If you have to stop and pause the video, feel free to do so. Again, here's a close-up. We have deck one, deck two, deck three, and deck four. All right, let's hop into today's reading and see what we have. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and exactly what you need to hear for where you are. All right. Two of Swords, whatever I decide, trust in the outcome, or I trust in the outcome. Two of Wands, so right off the bat, we already have indecision and decision making. Some of you also, if you've chosen this deck, feel like you just didn't have a choice. That was universe divinely interceding. So a lot of you that have chose this deck, this is gonna be, again, I keep talking about the spiritual awakening. So a lot of this in the messages that you need to hear is that there's a decision in your life that you need to make decisions, I'm hearing also, decisions in your life that are going to bring you the most happiness and the most peace. Those are the two things I, I really feel heavily that you need to focus on. Some of you, this situation with the world and everything that's happening has kind of pushed you into to the wall. And so a lot of you feel like you didn't really have a decision and unfortunately, um, decisions should have been made sooner, but now we're cleaning up. This is really what I'm hearing. It's just like cleaning up. Uh, definitely a relationship stuff. There is relationship stuff. So if it does come up, I will bring that up. Gemini energy, you guys could be a Gemini, but there's just a lot of confusion in the direction that you need to take right now. And we're going to get into what higher self has to say about this, but we have the lover's card. I trust my knowing and make a commitment. This is a commitment to self. This is a commitment to love within yourself. So if a lot of you are looking or seeking for love in this time, you're also seeking for yourself. Remember, when you find yourself, your soulmate will appear. <laughs> I love that. But yeah, that's exactly what it is. Discontent and boredom. So a lot of you, yeah, you just feel, I feel like a lot of you are suffering from just not being able to create um, as much as you normally can create or, you know, with the quarantine and everything that's happening in the world, some of you are also impassing, so you're feeling it. The disconnect and, and boredom, what Spirit is saying is right now is the time for you to make a decision and start going towards the things that you do want. There's a lot of opportunity here, a lot of opportunity for you guys to wake up, to speak the truth, to take uh, advantage of your social media and inspiring other people and empowering other people to do the same thing as you. But you must stand, okay, 
Deck number one, the biggest thing that I'm hearing for you is that you guys are struggling with being certain. That uncertainty in your life is creating a lot of conflict. So standing your ground and choosing a side, are you, and it's more of like choosing yourself. Are you gonna choose yourself and your own self-happiness or are you going to continue to choose others and do what others think is best for you? It's about making decisions and standing your ground. A lot of you make decisions and you go back. There's a lot of wishy-washy feeling that spirit is like, now is the time to make that decision. Um, throat chakra speaking up, there are a lot, there's a lot of things that you guys can do um, that are going to inspire and bring peace to other people that that they, they don't have to feel so significant. It could be very simple, right? Spreading joy, spreading uh, knowledge. So speaking up right now, throat chakra, we also have healing begins. So this is in the heart. This is definitely love. You guys are learning a lot more love. You're learning to have compassion for other people, just as much as compassion that you do have for yourself. Just breathe. A lot of you are seeking peace, but you're not, you haven't been making decisions that are bringing you peace. Right now, spirit is saying is the time to relax and also allow. Some things are out of your control. Things, a lot of you guys are experiencing loss. Some of you, very few of you are experiencing loss of people um, to death but also circumstance, like you're outgrowing people. And so there's a lot of anxiousness mentally that you guys are dealing with. And spirit is saying, now is the time to trust. Now is the time to relax and just breathe. Let things work accordingly. Also, this is time. This is the most important time for you to find confidence in yourself. A lot of you are lacking the confidence. You feel like you need more expertise to think, uh, speak on things. You feel like you need uh, more accolades, whether it's a degree or people won't listen to you. There's a lot of that that I'm hearing on this group and you guys are called to the awakened group. Now that's not like some cool name, the awakened group. It's just simply you're called to much higher heights of truth, um, to following that truth, to following your peace and also spreading that. So I'm not surprised that you guys did choose this charm because this charm is heavily embedded in spirituality, but you are lacking the confidence to speak up on certain things that you are actually equipped to do because you went through it before. Your experience alone is enough to surpass credibility. I want you to understand that that's something that you guys are struggling with. Listen, some of you guys are blocked. There's things that have happened in the past that it's time to let go of. In fact, it's not doing anything for you, um, but weighing you down. A lot of you are looking back. Not only are you uncertain of yourself and uncertain of speaking up, you have a lot of uncertainty about decisions you've made in the past. If I wouldn't have done this, would I be here? If I didn't choose this person, what would I? It's like going back over those ifs is creating a lot of lack of peace mentally. So listening right now is the time to connect with spirit and see what spirit has to say. Nurturing yourself. Let's see what's going on though. King of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Also the Strength card. So you guys could be a Leo or be dealing with a Leo. You don't have to be. That's just a sign that I feel like it's coming up. What I'm feeling like that is really important for you is this situation that you're going through in life was created in a sense in your reality and is in your reality to help you wake up to the strength, the confidence and the courage that you do have. In fact, you're going to surprise yourself with just as much as you're able to get through in this time. You're going to surprise yourself at how much strength you actually had. And in fact, the universe is saying, I'm going to use circumstances in your life, decisions that you have to make and, and equip you with the strength by just simply showing you that you do have this strength, that you can make this decision, that you can be independent, that you will be okay financially. A lot of you are worried about the finances with the King of Pentacles, um, worried about the finances, but spirit is just like, what are you waiting for? Now is the time to create the opportunities that you need. Um, but unfortunately, some of you, the reason why there's a standstill is because before you can go to that next level, there needs to be some understanding of yourself, spending more time with yourself. What, what triggers you? Where is it coming from? What is the root of this trigger? Why do you feel this way? Do you feel like your past um, has more hope than you do your future? These are just simple things that they're bringing to my attention and letting things go. Um, some of you guys need to just simply hear that you're worthy of this, okay? Some of you are searching for something that you can only find within. 
And so that's why you're kind of being pushed to the to the wall and having to deal with the things that you um, haven't really had the time or spent the time with. And that's spending time with yourself, but also not being distracted while you're spending time. Really focusing on what is creating this unhappiness in my life and nurturing myself. Because if you do go to the next level, spirit is like, if you do go to the next level and you take this energy, you will not be able to make it in that next level. So you're getting almost like groomed for level seven. I don't know why I keep hearing level seven, but that's predicate. Please pay attention to the sevens and the sixes. The sevens is where it's almost like what they're saying is the faith. The six represents the growth, but instead it's like, if you stay in the past, you're not going to be able to grow from it. So you can't grow and still be in the past. You must grow away from the past, which is the six towards the seven. I don't know why they're bringing that to my attention. I don't really hone in on that. Um, a lot of you are discovering a lot of things. I said this in the April 2020 prediction is that you're discovering um, you've been doing a lot for people and it's not being reciprocated. And so it's okay to serve. But the problem that you're learning is balance, how much you're giving of yourself. And then once you give a lot of yourself, you almost have this expectation that others should do the same. But Spirit is saying, give, plant the seed, but just because you plant the seed doesn't mean you have to water it, right? Just because you say something to someone or do something for someone doesn't mean you're locked into that for the rest of your life. So use wisdom and know when it's time to pull back your time and attention and your service to other people and other jobs. So you guys are learning a lot of self-love, a lot of making a commitment to yourself that you will trust more of your intuition and follow your heart. A lot of you are overwhelmed, but it's coming to an end. It was all to, look at this again, we have the lover's card. We have the six again, lovers. And then we also have Gemini energy. So it's again, it's interesting because Gemini, remember there's two. With the Gemini, we know that there's they're known to be two, two different faces. We have twos, 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 twos. If you see two, 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 or if you see twos, this is about decision making. Now is the time to make that decision, to go towards what you love. In fact, life we're learning is not promised for years to come. So now is the time to live. Seven of Swords, you're finding out a lot about trust. Trusting people, um, trusting companies to pay you with everything going on. You're learning that you've put a, more trust in others than you have yourself, 10, 10 on the clock. Um, and so what that says to me is that you're learning to, um, because if you actually put in much effort into yourself as you do others or other commitments and situations, you would be a lot further in your individual happiness. And that's what Spirit is saying is like, focus on that. Then I have these cards that I wrote, just positive messages, because I want to know what the overall theme in is and I want to know what the overall message is for you guys for deck one, one card. Thank you. Truth. So that's what this is about is following the truth. Some people, you know, you're supposed to get rid of. It's just time. The more you hold on to it, the more it becomes a burden. All right. So your overall theme and what you need to focus on is truth and standing your ground, but choosing what you feel like is really the truth and resonates with you or are you choosing to believe it just because it sounds good that's the tricky part all right so let's see what this is about because i pulled one oracle card one message and i just want to read just a little bit from this book for those of you who are still here look at this card number seven it's very significant you're growing just look up what number seven means faith it is the, the answer to the other side. It's a lucky number. Uh, but for most of you, you're moving out of what everyone else is doing and into what you feel like is true. So you're learning how to trust yourself more and trust that inner voice. All right, there is a belief system based on fear, doubt, and distrust that is known as mass consciousness. It says it is safer to stay with the crowd, not to question what you have been taught. It says you cannot trust the divine to take care of your financial well-being or your emotional needs. It says you should be afraid and not take risks. It says that if you dare stand up and live your truth, you'll be lost and alone, humiliated, rejected, or even destroyed. You are being guided to unplug from the system of beliefs. You are capable of more creative, loving, and soul-satisfying ways of living. To access this, let go of the way that is too small for your soul. 
that's just egotistical things. It says you are brave and aware enough to think outside the square beyond what society considers normal. This is one of my favorite cards, Unplugging from Mass Consciousness. The Matrix has a good representation of that. V for Vendetta, the movie, if you've seen it, watch it again right now in this time. This stuff, unplugging from what society says, and that's why I said it's so important that you trust your voice and you follow your truth no matter what, and you speak up about it. But you can't do that if you're not listening. And if you're only listening to society or mass media or the masses, how are you going to be able to hear your soul? How are you going to be able to hear your higher self, which is limitless? Okay. The soul is brave. The ego is afraid. There's a big difference. And for you guys to get this, the omen or the omen, however you like to pronounce it, means that you have a huge representation of walking in the truth no matter what people say. But Spirit is saying before you can get to that level seven, you got to start trusting in yourself more and not putting more trust in others. And that's why you guys have been challenged in family. That's why you've been challenged with people, relationships, people that you give leeway to when you know it's not the truth, what they're doing, but you just don't say anything because they have a different place. That favoritism, you're learning also to have that same love and compassion for the world. And that's a little tricky, but again, as you guys become more enlightened to this truth, you will start to see very clearly with your third eye, which is why we have the third eye here, but you must also heal from the past is what spirit is saying. Follow your truth and follow your knowing. Okay. Following your, the truth and knowing is to follow intuition. You know, the mind thinks you don't have to think about what your name is. You just know that knowing and feeling is what you're here to follow. So this is some deep messages. This is, this is just like an awakening completely un unplugging and following your intuition. And that takes strength. That takes courage. That takes letting go of things that have happened so you can move towards the things that are bound to happen. So if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and messages that you need to hear exactly right now. I hope this helped you guys. Don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of encouragement per usual to you guys. Also, don't forget to check out the description box for more information about the things that I'm up to. I'm moving on to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and what exactly do you need to hear right now in this moment? Queen of Pentacles, you're learning that you are the fountain of abundance. Abundance. You are the fountain of abundance. That's what you're learning. You're learning how to have a vision for yourself and not depending on the vision of others. You're learning how to heal yourself and particularly I'm hearing the mind healing yourself by finding peace. Even when others are in chaos, you're learning how to heal yourself naturally with herbs. Some of you guys are learning how to do that naturally and just simply being aware of knowledge of being able to self medicate or take care of yourself is very powerful. A lot of you are learning that. What is this card? Okay. Cause you guys have some healing energy already. So you're learning not to depend on others to take care of you. You're also learning on not to depend on others' vision for you. Deception and envy, you're also learning not to trust everything you're hearing. You're learning to grow from depending on other people to inform you. Also, some of you are starting to see the truth in things with people. A lot is being exposed this month and last month was being exposed with like what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling is just a big sweep. And the sweep is like looking under the rug. Some of these things that you're seeing, you already knew about people. You've already known about your job. You've already known about your children. You've already known these things, but this sweep of awakening is almost like a light. And it just really was a magnifying glass. And you're able to see all the things that you already knew you had a, a feeling about. It's starting to be even more obvious. It's just in your face now choose wisely. Now is your time. And we have a seven again. I just talked about the sevens. We have two sevens. Now is the time to trust in your own guidance and also make decisions based on what you know. Some of the things, like I just mentioned, you've already known about people. Now it's being exposed and spirits like saying, basically there's no excuse to stay in and trusting and giving people the benefit of the doubt. 
Now it's just time to accept it for what it is and move on from it. In fact, it's almost like a blessing and a gift, even though it's hurtful, the things that we're going through in this world, it's a blessing because now you can see it, things for what they really are. There's no distractions. Everything is just in your face. And so trust that and make that decision because what they're saying is it's going to affect your future. Now in the present moment is where you create your reality. You cannot create it in the past and you cannot create it in the future. They're saying you must be in the present moment now and there's no better place or time than to make the decisions necessary in your life that you know you need to make. Recognition, three, uh, three, but this is more of a celebration and also rewards. People are going to acknowledge you. Um, intuition, trust it. I've been saying this a lot for the past two months. A lot of you guys are being challenged to trust your intuition, your instincts, right? You have a feeling. Basically what spirit is saying is I'm confirming that feeling and I'm adding even more light to the deceptive things that you couldn't see before. They are very vivid now. Pay attention. That's what I'm hearing. Mastering your intuition and mastering yourself, mastering your judgment. A lot of you are being challenged with Having to be the person a lot, a, a lot of others depend on, whether you're a parent or whether people are depending on you or coming to you in this time, I feel just like there's a lot of overloading. Let's see what that's about. Two of Wands, more decisions, okay? A lot of overloading with where are you spending your time? That's something that I'm hearing too. Where have you been sp uh, spending your time? So this magnifying glass has also helped you and seeing the things that you can see. Scorpio energy, you don't have to be. But again, a lot of things are coming to an end. The death card is not always bad. It's always about your perception. Death, I want death if it means ending pain, right? We want ending. So also I'm just hearing death too. Just be open to embracing endings because if you don't, you hold on to them and it only hurts you more in the end, right? Some of you guys are just giving benefits of the doubts out and you just have to accept it for what it is now. And I know, I know that this is hard to hear and I'm trying to deliver this truth so easily. I promise I come in peace when I do it. Seek, start seeking your intuition, trusting on it. Again, don't waste time hoping or putting your hope in others. Put your hope in yourself. As much, as much benefit of the doubt as you give others in situations, give that also to yourself. You have a lot of wish fulfillments that are coming true. Detach. Now is the time. You know, the cards, they're, they're here. Spread your wings. This is about freedom. This is about a new beginning. They're saying you cannot have the new without, without releasing the old. As we're experiencing a lot of loss, a lot of death around the nation, we're also experiencing a lot of bursts, a lot of harmony, a lot of love. They're also saying pay very close attention to where you're pouring your energy or putting your attention or your focus. What you focus on will grow. So if you're focusing on negativity, it will grow. If you're focusing on those things, you're being challenged to change what you focus your energy on. Choose your battles, exactly. Because what's happened is seven, we have seven, seven, seven. You guys are going through a huge growing period. You're learning that some things are just not worth fighting for. Some people are just not worth fighting for. The only people that I'm feeling are worth fighting for are you. And even if you have children, they still need you. It always comes back to you. So you're learning how to take care and nurture yourself. Coming together, absolutely. A lot of you are having soul tribes come in. Just, I'm hearing it, this again, deck two. Allow what is falling apart to fall apart. You cannot hold it together, okay? You will literally hurt yourself in the process. The most important thing that they're saying right now that's really going to help you be free is move out of the way and let things fall where they needed to fall because eventually they were going to. Five of Cups. Some of it is a relationship. Some of this is um, just things that you put a lot of energy into, a lot of work into. But again, what they're saying is invest in yourself because then you only have to trust and believe in yourself to make things happen. But You've taken that trust and you've given too much of it to outside sources. Seven of Wands. Here's another seven. This is the breakthrough card. Some of you are waiting for the breakthrough. Some of you are like, when is this going to happen? I don't know how much I can take. That is actually actually at the point where you lose your 
ego the most, where you lose your mind the most, where you will feel the most free is when you just say, you know what? There's not more I can take. I'm done with this. It's out of my control. I release it. Unfortunately, it takes crazy things like this for us to finally release the things that are even burdening us. So you're learning that too, is that there is a breakthrough right around the corner, but you have to trust your intuition. There's some depression. There's some mental things. There's some loss. There's some grieving. A lot of you have lost people, places, and things. Okay, this is going to be replaced. There is no need to worry. The replacements that are going to come after what you have lost now is going to be there for a lot longer than these. In, in a sense, what they're saying is quality over quantity. Okay, you had a lot of stuff, but was it quality, valuable things that were pouring back into you or was it just unnecessary? In fact, some of you actually do need to get rid of some stuff. That's what I'm hearing. Um, minimalism, because I feel like the more you have, the more you're worrying. That worry is also coming from a lot of the things that you're just holding on to in general that you just don't need. But you have to trust that it's okay and you will be okay letting go and you actually will be okay. I'm saying that. A lot of you are gonna rebuild with the Eight of Pentacles. You're learning so much about yourself. You're learning that your intuition was right all along. You're learning that you have to trust your instincts no matter what. You're learning this and it's a beautiful thing because you're rebuilding. Some of you are just rebuilding on a much more solid foundation. And you know what's really, really cool is on this card, he's by himself. Yes, sometimes it's hard to build something new when we're alone, but this is going to be a lot more sturdier. And you're going to have a lot more happiness and peace in your life. When you build something and just have something for you, it's okay to have something for you. Okay, so I wrote on these cards, just a regular deck of cards, just words, because I want to see what you guys are overly focused on for this group. Uh, what should you be focusing on most importantly all right we have two cards that came out harmony and joy four four so look at four four pay attention to four 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 if you guys do see that it means to focus back on harmony and joy what is bringing you the most joy and what is bringing you the most harmony and if it's not bringing you harmony why shall you hold on to it in fact, how will you get rid of these people, these places, these things is simply by saying my joy is worth more. It brings harmony to myself and my peace. And so I have to release this. That's what you're doing. You're choosing you. All right. Overall energy. Let's just read the first paragraph. I, won't, I don't want to get too crazy into it. We have a lot of threes and sixes. Again, we have 36. So pay attention to that. Also, the threes and the sixes, the sevens and the fours. Those were the most important numbers that came out. So just pay attention to when spirit is directing you towards a clock or a number, um, anything in that sense. Okay. So your guys' card is reassurance of the golden light. Reassurance of the golden light. This golden light comes to you as a gift of grace and reassurance. It is an embrace from the universe, an expression of divine comfort, and a sign of hope. When the golden light appears, it is a sign that everything in your life, even the most troubling matters, is going to work out perfectly. Exactly. They are held in the grateful hand of the divine and will be resolved more swiftly and beautifully than you might ever expect. It's a very real phenomenon. And though you may only perceive it when you are particularly relaxed, your clairvoyance is already developed. Okay. You're looking for this golden light that's shining upon you. If you are in a room when it comes upon you, you will wonder if a light has been switched. It's a glow. It's very noticeable. In truth, in grace, and divine assistance are always there for you asking, but there are times when we are in need of extra support. During these times, ironically enough, we can forget to ask for help. Okay? Do not forget to ask for help. I feel like a lot of you, um, you were the help. And so a, a lot of people are calling you or they're depending on you or you have dependence of you. And so you're learning to trust more of the reassurance in the intuition. And that's the last thing I'm going to say for you guys. Deck number two is the intuition and the spirituality. This is just an amazing place for you to be able to have reassurance and peace. And that's why I've been talking a lot about when you are in peace, you don't need to worry. And so it's very important that you understand that there's reassurance, that there's love around you, that there's joy, but you must be open to following that joy. You must be seeking that joy to find it. You must focus on that joy to obtain it. So overall, this is your guys' reading. If you guys chose deck number two, don't forget to comment down below. There's a lot of stuff going on. I really want to get some words of encouragement back to you guys. 
Don't forget to check the description box also for new updates and things I have going on. In the meantime, I'm gonna move on to deck number three. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading and exactly what you need to hear for where you are right now. Six of Wands. I am proud of what I achieve and I accept my reward. So some public recognition coming in for the work that you're doing. I just got, again, I'm going to be just, there's messages that have been coming in all day. So whatever comes up, if it resonates with you, there's a specific amount of people that I want to talk to on this group for some reason. It's being dissected. There's nurses, there's doctors, um, there's people who are assisting. Some of you guys are still working. Uh, basically, you're going to get public recognition for that. So that's for the few of you guys. I just wanted to bring that up. A lot of you are waking up to more of your emotional care for the world. It's a very interesting place. Like there's more like awareness of caring for the earth. Yeah, earth healing. I figured um, because there's some healing stuff here, but you're being more appreciative of nature. Some of you guys are taking advantage of this time and really learning gratitude for the simple things. So this is a good thing for you. Also, you can be an Aries. Um, I know it's birthday season, but this has been an interesting one for you, Aries. And so you don't have to be, but that's coming up too. Making empowered decisions. So some of you are being asked what the universe is saying basically to you is use this time wisely to make empowered decisions and choices to actually change. Use it for your benefit. Don't just allow it to come and pass. There's actually a lot of growth that you can take from it. Temptation. I do want to point out, remember I said that this one was an interesting deck. There is a few things. Some of you guys are on the front line of the things that are happening and you're getting public recognition. We thank you for that. And then there's also another situation here where there's a relationship. So some of you, I have to say this, do not fall for temptation just because you're in quarantine or just because, um, you know, you have the time. So don't, this isn't the time to let BS back in, basically is what uh, Spirit is saying. Do not allow this to be a time where you get tempted into um, being more, you know, vulnerable or being more accessible or being more lenient. Right now is not the time. Uh, you're going to have to make the decisions for yourself uh, to come back to spiritual unit. So, okay, there's going to be some distractions, deck three. Deck three, there's going to be some distractions. There's people that are distracting you. It's all to get you away from your spiritual union with self. Pay very close attention to what is taking most of your time in this time period right now. That it's not temptation. Love begins because, yeah, I don't feel like this person or these people are part of your soul tribe, but they're hanging on. Whether that's your life partner, you take it how it resonates because so many of you are on here. But this is a new opportunity for love and a new way to change your frequency so that once you come, once the world comes out of this whole era that we're going through, you will be able to profit from it in a way that will benefit you. So you will strengthen your intuition and then you will change your frequency by not getting caught up in these distractions. And then you will attract better people, not better because these people are bad, but just your soul tribe, people that are here to help you also be part of your spiritual union solitude yeah so now is not the time to let people back in it's just not i'm seeing that very clearly here because now we have solitude so staying alone in solitude and seeking yourself i feel like this is a little bit challenging for you guys because it's forcing you it's not like this is something that you've done willingly um to have to deal with the things that are being dealt with in this world but what's most important right now spirit is saying your spiritual union needs more time it needs more of refreshment blossom yeah absolutely pouring back into yourself so that you can grow taking advantage of the situation not letting it take advantage of you releasing 13 now is the time to release those people okay they are not going with you to the next level is what i'm hearing some of these people that are around you are just not going with you to the next level they'll still be there but there it's just time to release those things T time to release the distractions and the temptations and really get to it also, we have awaiting results. We have confronting. Yeah, some of you are refusing or not completely being honest about the things that need to be confronted, including the people in your life, okay? A lot of you are not taking the time to rest and reconsider. Even if we're being provoked to be in quarantine, you can still be distracted in the midst. In the midst. So just pay very close attention to your mind wandering off from the things that uh, maybe you just are avoiding or don't want to deal with there are just some things that would do you better if you confronted them, them and and yeah take the lead and standing up and being more of a leader than a follower is something that's coming up too 
Three of Cups. Yeah, some of you won't be celebrating with uh, the people that you thought would be there forever. A lot of you will not be doing that, and it's just time to release that. Two of Swords. Again, we have a lot of twos today in today's reading because this is about indecision, indecisiveness, not being certain. But the best way for you to get clarity, deck three, is just to simply use this time to examine anything like triggers, anything that doesn't make you feel good, friendships that you feel like are iffy, um, jobs that you feel like are iffy. All of that is the time to really follow and gain the clarity because I'm hearing very clearly, you guys need clarity. And the only way you're gonna seek that is in spiritual union or find it. 10 of cups, so we have some beautiful things that are, are, are on the brink of you making these decisions. Um, Knight of wands, letting go of some things that are you're just not simply passionate about that person is still coming up um and then we have a little bit of financial stuff here but not too much of it i feel like there's some good things that are coming you've been working on yourself a lot a lot of you actually have been doing a lot more spiritual work than you normally would do and this is a beautiful place for you to be in having the solitude i know that some of you are just kind of like going to be come over this solitude and really wanting to get out and celebrate or connect with people because I'm seeing this but also what I'm seeing is once the flag is up for everyone to be safe in quarantine you're gonna have such a rush of passion to do the things that you've been waiting to do this has been a reality check for you and it's been very very beautiful in the process of learning that there is still happiness on the other end even if you have to make these dis these difficult decisions of releasing and confronting which that's something that's coming up too. again, deck number three, is that you can you can release, but some of you are releasing and you're not confronting it. Some things need to be confronted. Some things need to be said. It would bring more harmony to you if you started to confront and speak up about the things that either were bothering you, the things that you're questioning about. All of that needs to be confronted. Your job, your job is here too. Some things just need to be confronted here. And that's what you're here to do. Let's see what you guys are mainly focusing on or what you should be focusing on. I wrote different words on each different deck. So, all right, we have, wow, we have a lot of cards. We'll take this first one, peace. So a lot of you need to be focused on peace. What else? One more card. All right, we'll take this one and fun. Peace and fun, I love it. Getting your energies up, focusing on positivity and releasing this stuff. So the last thing I wanna say before I get into your overall message is that now is the time to water yourself. Everything that you're learning in the situation is being that's being revealed, it's time to let go of. It seems like we all have a common theme of letting go of distractions, confronting things that we need to confront and moving forward. And the biggest thing I'm hearing for you, deck number three, is now is the time to make empowered decisions in taking the lead in your love life, in your abundance, in your spiritual life. Now is the time to really utilize this to make a change in your life for peace and fun. Some of you guys just need to have more fun. Some of you just need to dance. Some of you just need to turn on your music and get your momentum flowing because I feel like you've been focusing on a lot of the things that you're gonna lose or you've lost versus the things that are coming into fruition. And that is peace and fun. All right, earth healing. Let's see what this is about. This is the very beginning paragraph, so I'm not gonna get too much into it, but let's see what this is about. All right, earth healing. You are making a real contribution to the planet through your spiritual journey. Remember this and believe that your needs will be met by the earth and the universe. What you are doing matters and you will be supported. The earth recognizes you. She sees you as a conduit through which she is fed higher frequencies of love, light, and divine presence. You are here to have your spiritual life journey in a human body. Okay? A lot of you are learning to fear less, not fearing death, not fearing the things that will happen and only allowing yourself to live in the present moment. You're understanding that you are ex here to experience, you're not going to be here permanently, so therefore you should take advantage of the temporary by just having fun and being at peace because you cannot worry about something that is destined to happen, such as the inevitable, and that is passing away or transitioning into or the, another life or out of this life. A lot of you are focusing on what might happen or what, what will happen. All right. Last but not least, part of that process will involve sharing your light with the earth in itself. This may see you take a role in the healer, guide, mentor, or teacher to others on the path. It may see you doing work with the natural 
world. From the most obvious gestures to the most subtle, the oracle tells you that you are powerful enough to make a meaningful contribution to the quality of consciousness upon the earth, meaning that even your decisions in life can affect the frequency of others and it acts as a domino effect, meaning you are not too small to make a difference. You sharing fun and positivity and peace is helping the others heal by others just seeing you be at peace. It just becomes kind of like a blanket presence when you walk in the room and you're at peace and people are like, well, why are you at peace? Shouldn't you be afraid? And then you lead by example by saying, I'm gonna enjoy my time when my time comes, it will come, but I will not be in chaos worrying about the inevitable. I will not be in chaos when my whole entire purpose of being here is to experience the human experience. And that is having fun, uh, connecting with others, healing, being free. All of this is part of your purpose and the actual key to your destiny also. So if you guys chose deck number three, don't forget to comment down below because I want to get some words of encouragement back to you guys. Remember that every single thing that you're doing is a contribution to the collective. So you may seem or feel small, but you have a bigger impact just energetically than you can even imagine. So take advantage of that and use that for the good and pass peace and fun along rather than chaos and boredom or comfortability or whatever the case may be. So don't forget to check the description box also if you guys are looking for even more information about what I have going on. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and exactly what you need to hear. All right, exactly what you need to hear. Three of cups. I embrace joyful opportunities. Ten of swords. I can tell you right now that this deck is about freedom. You guys are learning about being free mentally. Even when you're in a situation that doesn't feel like it promotes freedom, you're being encouraged to still bring freedom to also let endings happen. Some of you guys are trying to force an ending from not happening. It is also time to nurture yourself, take care of yourself. Nine of Pentacles in the Sun card. It's also time to be happy and optimistic and appreciative of everything you have. In fact, the easiest way to raise your energy levels is to just simply be grateful. Being grateful to just be alive. Being grateful that when we open our eyes, we are still here with another opportunity to live. This type of gratitude that I'm talking about is much more than just being grateful for your house or car. It's in-depth gratitude without dependence on anything externally. You're just grateful just to simply be here. That's what you're learning also is to take advantage of that just being here by being free and optimistic that you have the power that you have the victory and that it's not over in hope. You guys are actually being encouraged very, very much so. This deck, if you've chosen deck number four, you're being encouraged like nobody's business. Like you are having to really, really find that hope, really seeking it. And this is a beautiful journey. It may seem painful. But from a higher perspective, remember, when you're in that tornado, you can't see outside of it. But when someone comes in and I'm coming in and I'm seeing this from a higher perspective and I'm saying, you have everything to hope for. You have a lot to be grateful for. That is actually going to help you find more hope. When you're able to focus on the optimistic and the hope, you can become more open-minded. Now, with the crown chakra, and I'm going to try my hardest not to preach on this deck because there's a lot of messages coming in for you guys. You're being called to a higher level. I'm sure some of you guys have already heard this before. This is just another confirmation that you're being asked to step up and also do things differently. Don't just follow people because a lot of people are following it. You have more of a responsibility to open up your crown, which is Corona, crown chakra, being more open-minded. We have the seven again. Sevens have been very popular in this reading today because it's talking about movement away from the past of the six, movement away from the growth, okay? Moving towards growing. And in order to grow, you have to be more open. Being more open-minded is going to allow more hope in your life. You guys are not defeated yet. You are not in defeat. In fact, if you are listening to me right now in this present moment, right at this exact time, you are still here. And that is something to celebrate and embrace. Therefore, you have not been defeated and you are not in conflict. 
but you must be able to see the light in the midst of darkness to see that joy and stability is what's on the brink of the other door of hope okay joy and stability and happiness this is a very beautiful reading you're learning to rebuild on a much stabler ground you're the student but you're going to become the teacher some of you will teach positivity by just being more positive some of you will teach joy by just radiating more joy into the world challenging times a lot of you are getting ready to come out of this i feel like you're on that last lap of the mile and you're starting to release challenging times but you must let them go to an ending before they can be removed and, and defeated and conquered meaning you cannot win a victory of a war if you are still enticing that war and that war with some of you guys is endings knowing that things are supposed to end and still like trying to keep that going but still trying to be in triumph either you're going to be an overcomer and you're going to be victorious or you're still going to be in the war but you have to make a decision to walk away from the war and the war is just simply trying to prevent endings from happening trying to prevent the inevitable you're learning to have more hope you're learning to be more limit limitless but a high level of spirituality is here you have a almost like a due, due, due diligence due diligence to the world to walk in your power and be an example of someone who is fearless someone who believes that the universe has more power than any fear could be instilled. You have to first believe that for yourself before you can then begin to inspire and empower others and then the world. So the third eye chakra is, are you seeing things from a higher perspective or are you just seeing the tornado around you because you're in it? You have a really big responsibility to see things from a higher perspective that the collective mass may not be able to see or with their own eyes that's going to require you to open up to more spirit more messages to intuition and the challenge most challenging thing is when 90 percent of people are doing one thing and your intuition is telling you to do the other 10. sometimes it's like whoa am i losing it or is this just really intuition that's really intuition and so you it without you believing that you actually have the power to be that 10 percent and do something differently it's very hard for you to overcome the things that you're dealing with in your life right now because you can't handle them the way that others handle them. You have a different journey of spirituality. It's going to require you to open up. Nine of Cups, a wish come true. You have a lot of positive things going on. In fact, I feel like you have been working on being free more and more. And, and, and even I'm hearing that it led, leading up to this time, you guys have actually done more work. And so you're a little bit more prepared for the things in the world. And so things are going to seem on the outside to be really good, very optimistic. And that's going to bring other optimistic into people's lives. Some of you guys are worried about finances. I talked about this in April 2020 prediction. Everything that you're dealing with, this is very important, deck number four, is all inner conflict. It's all inner conflict, okay? You are learning that you are your greatest enemy. You're learning that your greatest enemy will have access to your greatest fears. So if you are your own worst enemy, it's almost like you are creating your reality through the fears that you have because you're working against yourself. Your mind is saying this thing is in fear and then your spirit's like, go, 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 fly, be free. And it's like, it's a conflict. And so you're learning who and what you are also. It's all inner conflict, Eight of Swords. This is the imprisonment card. If you guys have time to look this up, Eight of Swords is mental slavery. You are stuck in your head and it's time to get out of it. In fact, when I say be free, it means being free from your thoughts, being free from your mind. Because again, if your greatest enemy is you and it knows your greatest fears, imagine what your reality can look like. It could be some of your greatest fears, but you have to be the one who is aware and that's why I said, you're not your thoughts. You're not your mind. You are the aware, you are the observer. Things can either move forward for you or stay still. It's like move forward or stand still. It's coming up like this. Earlier it was like this when I was shuffling and I've seen it pop out. But what I'm feeling like is it's you making the decisions that you need to make or what's going to be what affects your future the most. So, it's up to you. 
it's up to you whether or not you want to feel joy and happiness and freedom or if you want to be in a standstill because others are so you're learning how to create that energy for yourself and then the nine of pinnacles money should never be an issue for you and if i've said this before on any of my videos deck number four you should not have an issue with money in fact now is the time to address all of your fears around abundance because they will prevent you in the future from receiving even more abundance in your life that is a very big thing that's coming up here opening up more to spirit is also here and opening up to spirit is opening up to what is not familiar sometimes it's not familiar and so it's hard for us to digest and see that spirit is trying to speak to us all right i also created this deck and i put a few words here because i just want to see what you guys should overall be focused on group four what should they overly be focused on one card adventure <laughs> let's see one more card one more adventure that's what i was saying adventure freedom and acceptance adventure and acceptance that's perfect so accepting the things in your life like i just said that you cannot control and then accepting what's happening right now accepting the truth of things the faster you accept things in your life the faster you accept the truth the more you will propel it's just that simple and do not make it more complicated than it needs to be the conflict and the defeat that you may be feeling is internally all right and obviously adventure which is the freedom um you know being spontaneous as much as you can following your optimistic optimism and then also following your freedom because you have the power to do so you're going to be able to create joy in a place where people will ask you how the hell are you so happy or how can you create this joy and so you'll be able to create that joy in a space of even the most negative um, environment and that's what you're working towards also you're a soul child we have soul child here for your overall energy let's see what this is about rebirth is upon you beautiful child of the universe you have prepared for a new life and it is starting right now remember i said you guys kind of been doing the work and working up to here so you're you're dealing with this a lot differently a lot a lot easier because you've already did a lot of spiritual work prior okay the divine moment of rebirth which occurs after a period of struggle of intense inner work or physical transformation has arrived enjoy getting to know this new self it is a new day and a new beginning and a new you this new you is adventurous this new you is very optimistic this new you feels like they've conquered they're they're de they're not defeated they are triumph they are victorious this is the new you and actually the things that you feel like you sh don't really have much to celebrate on is the very things that you should be celebrating on and that's why i said it and started off with this it starts with gratitude soon as your eyes open in the morning and you can see with those eye boogers that that fan is still there and you're still alive that's a that's a perfect reason to feel joyful wow i have another opportunity but again we're, we're learning not to take each day for granted and so that's why i said it's it's becoming a new you here's the cool part like an adventurer adventure okay enjoying the discovery of a new brand new world take your time to explore the increase of your light power and love i love this okay deep inside through that process your soul has been gathering energy remember i was telling you you're going to be feeling super energized when this is over it has been drawing it away from the old forms of your life and relationships from your old beliefs about health finances work and people from what used to hold meaning for you it has done so in order to feed the new soul child being carried within your body the new you is filled with divine light love and power your inner soul child this newly integrated self is preparing for birth now from that which is no longer something new is now being born you are ready for the next cycle or phase in your life what is that next phase freedom adventure optimism happiness power you're going to get insight that not very many people have and so if you guys chose deck number four i want you to stay encouraged don't forget to comment down below so i can get some words back to you also but you have a decision to make and it's either to stay into your old limited beliefs your old fearful beliefs or to wake up to the soul child that's in you and this person if you could see the soul child he's super geeked and that's kind of what i was meaning by when we wake up every day and we see that sun outside our window 
we should also be super geeked. But for some reason, we start to take things for granted. And so you're learning to be more grateful about the joy, the stability, and the hope that's in your life. If you guys chose this step, again, comment down below. Check out the description box if you guys are looking into getting more information about what I have up to date. Until next time, I'm going to sign off. I'm wishing you guys the best. Stay encouraged. Stay uplifted. Stay on your soul journey. Remember, you're on the right path. Everything's getting ready to be revealed. And the truth is literally right around the corner. The awakening is happening. And now is the time to step up in light and love. So I'm wishing you guys the best. Until next time, love and light to you.